Hey here, this is Lord Potato, and this is What If Naruto Was a Dragon God, Part 5. Now, before I go on, I was going to record this yesterday, it just, I was so damn tired that I couldn't. Like, I only got to 5 minutes and I just fell asleep. So yeah, of course, the rest of that fucking thing is just cut out and yeah, it's, it's whatever. But look at I'm not going to do a recap because it was two weeks ago. Even though I should probably do a recap because you probably all forgot or something like that. No, I'm too lazy. So, fuck off. Also, go subscribe to Anime Sensor, Icon and What Ifs and Obito What Ifs. And uh, my second channel is down there if you care to ever listen to story times. Um, I am trying to upload more. I, I'm also going to, for my story times, I'm going to do just game play in the background. Like One Piece or something because I can record it from my Xbox, send it to my phone, and then put us gameplay but yeah but other than that let me begin into this damn what if because yesterday I fell asleep so last time of course Naruto's team contains of Naruto Zamaki who is basically the incarnation of a dragon god a bear a black American bear that's what it is that's also on Naruto's team Shikamaru and uh, Choji now if you're wondering well, what's Asuma's team you know, and two uh, random characters that would not really be mentioned because who really cares? So, we go into the what if now. Now, oh, before I go any any further, uh, what's it called? I am going to redo two what ifs, or not redo, one remaster, one redo, because yeah. Uh, a redo is on what if Naruto was trained by I, me, Lord Potato, because I had a better idea. Than whatever bullshit idea that that one person asked me for but yeah i'm actually gonna redo it and i'm also gonna change the thumbnail for a little bit even yet <clears throat> also the remaster would probably be what if i was in naruto because i probably want to remaster that i don't know i feel like doing it yeah but other than that it's probably none of the concern but let me begin into this what if okay so naruto's team is right now going towards well well, Naruto team is actually called the special dragon team. Going towards the tuning sense. They get into the tuning sense, and when they enter, so much bloodlust was sent towards Naruto. Until Naruto sent a wave of his dragon bloodlust. Because he actually knows a little bit of, well, his bloodlust and what it actually connects to. He thought it connected to the Nine Tails, which he knows about the Nine Tails. Because when he went into his mindscape, he found a Nine Tails, and the Nine Tails says, What do you want, bruh? Naruto looks at him, not even being scared or anything, just says, The fuck? Was I not a dragon? Huh, interesting. Whatever. What do you want, stupid fox? Just what the fox says, What did you call me? I should rip you a shreds then. Naruto says, Sure, sure, you can try, blah, blah, blah. I don't really care. Fuck off. But Naruto just walked away at that. He didn't go any further from the Nine Tails. He just went back out. He didn't actually discover the Dragon God. And the dragon god smiles, saying, oh, he didn't came any closer to me. Aw, uh -huh. that's sad. I wanted to meet my container, or my host, mostly, of my power. <laughs> this is where Kurama hears that, and he says, who is there? Who are you? This is where the dragon god shuts up, and then Kurama saying, am I losing sh Am I losing my goddamn mind? Ah, <sighs> whatever. He goes back to sleep, but yeah. The dragon god chuckles a little bit more. This is where, well, we go into Naruto outside. This is where Naruto sends a bloodlust. Unimaginable that everyone that felt the bloodlust shut the, uh, just like shit their pants. Even Ochimaru was sweating. Kabuto was already in there and also sweating. All the, everyone was just sweating bullets because of Naruto's just terrifying bloodlust. The bloodlust actually went inside the room but also throughout the whole building they felt this terrible amount of bloodlust and even well uh abiki felt that and he was like what the damn he had it to go towards what to call his classroom where everyone's taking the tuning exams he has heard of uh, a kid that's very special and using elements without hand signs and a bear and other things but when he got there Everyone was just right now scared. They were all in one corner. They were all scared from Naruto. When Naruto was just walking forward to them. 
Orochimaru is right now just standing there. So right now sweating bullets. He never imagined someone so powerful and potent and just just uh what's it called disturbing in his bloodlust. Naruto looks at Orochimaru straight in the eye and Naruto smiles with this evil and I mean devilish grin. This is where Orochimaru is terrified of this boy. He doesn't know who the hell this kid is. Well, he does because this kid had blonde hair. But <clears throat> his eyes, they're slick like a dragon, like a lizard. <clears throat> this is where Archimar thinks that they're similar to his golden eyes. But instead of being like golden, they're just a bunch of rainbow colors. <clears throat> he doesn't think it's a dojutsu because his eyes aren't a dojutsu. They're just slick like that. So he's thinking that Naruto is also someone that has just eyes slick like a lizard. But what he feels from Naruto, he feels the instinct to run away from Naruto. The fact that Orochimaru is somewhat a snake, right? Anything that's like bigger than what's it called or a predator to like snakes or anything where like try to run away. Yeah, he's feeling that instinct, that instinct to run away from Naruto. Because Naruto is not your average kid. A snake versus a dragon. <coughs> You sure know that the dragon's gonna win. <clears throat> but of course, Ojumaru is terrified. Every time Naruto gets closer, like this presence of him being a snake, but being smaller than Naruto, and this giant, just like, evil presence is like right next to Naruto. He knows it's not the Ninetales. He, he has never really felt those Ninetales bloodlust, but he's hoping that this is not the Ninetales. No, it's not the Ninetales at all. With something more powerful and stronger than the Ninetales itself. This is where, well, Naruto smiles at Orochimaru with this devilish grin. This is where Naruto appears right in front of Orochimaru, right now punching him in the gut. <laughs> this is where Naruto already noticed with his eyes Orochimaru not, not needing to be here. He can sense he's so strong in a bunch of things. This is where Shikamaru, uh, yeah, Shikamaru who was noticing Naruto punching this person, realized that this person might be bad news. So he's like, Shadow Parasa Jutsu. This is where he managed to grab, uh, uh, well not Shikamaru, uh, Orochimaru in disguise, and Naruto rips off the disguisement, the skin, showing Orochimaru's face, Orochimaru widening his eyes. Naruto says, I see, a Sonin being here. You know, Sonin's like you are not Genin's. You know, I didn't know that the Sonin being legendary Orochimaru was retarded. This is Orochimaru. He gets angry but at the same time scared. He did not see the speed. The speed of punching him in the gut. He felt like some bones were broken. He also felt like just this amount of strength from one kid. This is where Orochimaru is trying to move but sees that he's right now stopped by the Narwa. This is where, well, Someone in the room who was also there, there was multiple ninjas from the different villages. And this is where Kurosuke, who, well, it was the girl who had red, like, clothing and all that. And, of course, like, a headband of stone, because, yeah, stone ninjas can also go into the Trinity Temple. Anyone can go, it doesn't matter if an enemy towards a leaf village or not. So, of course, she sees uh, Shikamaru and says, Shikamaru! This is where Shikamaru says, huh? Kurosuki. Kurosuki says, um, yeah, you remember my name. Yeah, sometimes I try to remember people's names, but I do remember your name, besides. <laughs> it's been a while. The short could have said, yeah, it's been. Um, how have you been? Pretty good. I'm just stopping this pedo snake right here. The short could have said, yeah, that is true. I did not know what tomorrow will be here. And your teammate, Naruto, he's also been stronger, hasn't he? Oh, yeah, he definitely got stronger. And this is where could have says, does that mean you also got stronger? Uh, Shikamaru says, about that, Kurosuke says, you better have, because I really want to fight you in the, what's called, exam. No, and Shikamaru says, <laughs> oh god, this is gonna be terrible. This is where, uh, she says, it's not terrible, Shikamaru. We're ninjas. We have to fight and train to get stronger. <laughs> this is where Shikamaru says, yeah. This is where Oshimaru starts to get out of the shower process juice. This is where, well, Naruto says, be gone, you snake. This is where, well, when uh, Abiki appears, saying, what's happening? Orochimaru? This is where Chunin's uh, instructors also appear, saying, Orochimaru, 
This is where Naruto has a small fireball in his hand. And this is where Naruto says, Flame of Destruction. Well, what's it called? Fireball of Destruction. This is where, well, not Fireball of Destruction. Uh, Flames of Destruction. Naruto's hand did not have a fireball. Well, it did have a fireball in his like palm, but also fire around and started appearing. And this fire was actually not normal. It was actually a goldenish color of flames. And of course, this is where Archimaru widened his eyes. This is where everyone widened their eyes. Everyone was not near the window because Archimaru was kind of like his back was facing the window. And Naruto was right now in front of him. And this is where Naruto says, Golden Flames of Destruction. That's what he said. This is where, well, he sensed the, uh, the launch of Golden Flames towards Archimaru. A giant just, okay. So, you know how when, uh, what's it called? Any, like, okay, think of it like a Kamehameha. Ha! <sighs> it, like, sends a giant blast through, right? Yeah, that's what the, uh, flame attack was. It's just, a just, uh, how should I say? It's like a plasma attack. But instead of being, like, plasma, like, lightning or anything, it was just flames smashing through the, what's it called? Well, the windows. Burning Archimaru alive. Just burning him all the way into nothing but ashes. His bones were destroyed, his everything. These flames were so potent and so strong. And this is where so many people were shocked. Naruto is pathetic. Now, he only discovered these flames a while ago. When he was doing a tuning, uh, what's it called? Well, not tuning. When he was doing a C rank mission, and, well, not C rank mission, a B rank mission, and there was kind of in like a ice place, Naruto was kind of freezing up because, first of all, dragons are kind of like lizards. And their weakness is kind of ice, somewhat. But of course, Naruto discovered these flames and burned through multiple ninjas. These flames are so powerful. And, well, they were actually as strong as Crimson Red Flames. Naruto just discovered them. He was like, interesting. But yeah. Of course, this is where, well, Naruto didn't really care. So, of course, this is where, well, after Ochimaru being destroyed, Naruto looks at Kabuto. With a narrow eye. This is where Kabuto was sweat dropping. Every, what's it called? Well, sound engine was sweat dropping. The sound trio was sweat dropping because that was Ochimaru and he just got obliterated. This is where the dragon, not dragon, mostly the bear goes up to the sound trio. And the sound trio was confused of this big black bear. And of course, this is where Kabuto, this is a bear. The bear goes sne uh, sniffing at what's called Kabuto. And he kind of roars and slashes at Kabuto. Kabuto goes, Ugh! damn. He gets right now head into a wall. This is where uh, Biki was about to do something. Until Naruto says, hey, uh, what's it called? Bear. Bear says, yeah. Yeah, he does smell like snake. Hey, see. So, let's kill him. Let's kill anyone that smells like snake. Bear, go sniff out more people that smell like snakes. This is where so many people were sweat trapping. Because they... Don't know if they were like, they were in the same room, and of course, if this type of person is just gonna try to kill them because of smell like snakes, they're scared. This is where Kabuto is right now hurt. His arm is broken, it's like shattered into a million pieces, but of course, it's almost like torn off. Naruto appears right, right in front of Kabuto. Kabuto turns his uh, arm into a bluish color, and well, not the other one that was kind of broken, almost like cut. This is where this blue arm glow. Tried to hit Naruto. When it hit Naruto, he thought he managed to, like, this, uh, what's it called? Like, move some of the bones in Naruto's body. When he tries to do that, he feels like he can't. Because Naruto's bones are not normal. Since they have been training for so many, uh, for not even a year, for a couple of months doing more missions that are harder, Naruto's body has been changing. Changing so much. Just so fast. The reason why is because of the dragon incarnation. The dragon gate that what dragon god kind of made was kind of getting bigger and bigger, opening more power into Naruto, giving him more power. That's why the golden flames are so new. It's not because of training, it's just because he awoken them because of the gate being open more and more. But of course, this is where, well, the dragon god, what he does is sometimes just sleep like uh, Karama, but yeah. He, he would have, like, talked to Naruto, but he kind of accidentally fucked up the gate thing and kind of made him not be able to talk to Naruto. So, yeah.
But of course, since the gate is opening more, Naruto can definitely talk to uh, well, the Dragon God. Of course, Naruto's attitude has became well, what was it called the same as well, not the same as original canon has just been the same. It kind of became a little bit more ruthless, but not much. Of course, this is where well, Naruto can actually have so much of a better sensory. So everything like the powers have been given to him by the Dragon. He has been getting out more stronger and other things. And there's a fucking ant. Fuck off, you stupid ant. Okay, I can't fucking kill this ant. <sighs> Motherfucker. Okay, uh, what's the con? Sorry for taking up the whatever finale. But, okay, so, Naruto was with the calm. Just trying to, well, his ability was actually getting stronger. Sensory, uh, other things like scent and other things were actually getting stronger. But his bones were changing from normal human bones to dragon bones. These dragon bones are so tough. Stronger than any bones. Stronger than the Kagias, just stronger than them. But yeah, Naruto's bones are just getting stronger because of the dragon power. Especially being that of a dragon god, he is just strong as fuck. He's stronger than anyone. Of course, it's where well. So, of course, it's where well. Kabuto's attack didn't work on Naruto. Like, trying to just, uh, look, whatever it's called, kind of move one of the bones from Naruto's body didn't work. Instead, Naruto just, uh, just grabbed Kabuto from the neck and says, Die. Crack his neck. This is where the bear was going after the sound ninjas. The sound trio. Of course, Nar, uh, what's it called? Shikamaru did let go of, well, Archimaru when he got obliterated and started paralyzing the other three. That's where the bear says, you are delicious meat. This is where he kills that one with the gauntlet, ripping him apart. And this is where, well, um, this is where, well, Do yeah, I think his name was Toto and just got killed by the bear. And this is where his Hakan was trying to use his airwaves and try to attack, well, the bear. Until Choji punches shit at him and knocked his ass out with an iron fist. This is where, well, um, Kim was the last one to be, well, just there. And this is where Shikamaru just goes towards her. This is where Shikamaru just pokes her. And this is where she wakes up because she was right now frozen. And this is where, well, Shikamaru says, hmm, why aren't you trying to fight back? You know, you could have struggled out. This is where Kim says, uh, what, what, uh, why are you doing this? This is where Shikamaru says, because you smell like snakes. This is where she then kind of bursts and crying, saying, please don't kill me. I was only doing this because Archimaru was the one in control of the uh, sound village. I, I, I just wanted to live normally, but I had to be a sound ninja because I were poor and other things. This is where, well... Naruto hears it, and of course, Naruto, he was already just murdering, well, he still had Kabuto in his hand, but he was burning it right now, with his golden flames, and this is where Kurosuke says, hmm, you know, Shikamaru, what will you do with her? This is where Shikamaru says, just knock her out, I will kill her, but I'm not that much of a savage. Also, Choju, how much did he use on that power to knock out the person? Oh, he's knocked out, yeah. The bear is, like, eating the guy's leg right now. Uh, the guy with the gauntlet. And this is where, well, Shikamaru says, I'm not even going to ask. This is where Kurosuke says, you know, you can always get her for information for, the, like, the village. Dart, uh, Shikamaru says, that is true. This is where, well, the, uh, tuning instructors did take what's called the, uh, two leftover sound engines. And they did not ask for Kabuto or Chamaru or even the other guy being alive because they're dead. <sighs> this is where Abiki says these kids are already strong enough to be be tuning. I do remember hearing that they already were tuning level. The fact that one of them is strong as the well Dirtle Kage, but okay. It's a where well Abiki says, huh? What to do? What to do with them? They are quite, not annoying, I would say, but strong, too strong. Hmm. What to do? What to do? That's where Biki says, you know what? I'm not going to even 
give them the tests. Instead, I'm just going to kick them out of my classroom. That's where he looks at all through, uh, four of them and says, you th four, I should say, get the fuck out of my classroom. Naruto was confused. The bear was also confused, but they applaud. Even Shikamaru and even uh, Choji, like, so he just left outside the classroom. Outside, basically. This is where, well, the, well, Obiki says, uh, Chunin's, the Chunin's not in. They had it to kind of put, like, some, like, uh, what's it called, wood onto the, uh, thing that was the hole and all that. Of course, I had to put out the fire, but it took forever, so yeah. This is where, well, Ibiki says, hello there, classroom. <sighs> well, not classroom, maggots. Today, we're going to do the tuning, uh, well, test. Now, let's begin. About four hours later, I appeared. Well, not four hours, two hours later. And, of course, this is where, well, everyone is outside. Because Uncle still was going to come out and, like, into the room. But instead of going in, she noticed the four. Four people. One, well, four, three kids and one bear. She has heard of this team and she then says, what are you four doing? The bear kind of looks at her. Right now eating still a leg. Uh, Naruto is right now just meditating. And Shikamaru is uh, sleeping. And Choji says, uh, hello? This is where, well, Uncle says, why is, why is he toward out here? Uh, Choji explains saying that the big, he kind of just kicked us out. Okay. Out of the four tuning time or just kicked out of the room? Out of the room. Uh, why? My friend here, uh, he points at Naruto. Uh, bl obliterated, uh, S-Rank Ninja. Out the, what's it called, tuning room. That's why there's a hole up there. Kind of being covered by, uh, tuning sectors. That's where, well, uh, I'm going to say, Ha. Ha. What? This is where, well, in charge of Satan, no. This is where he keeps munching on some chips because he also was there kind of awake eating some chips. Yeah. And the bear just didn't want to talk to people because, yeah, it's a bear. So, of course, this is where, well, the class appeared. Of course, there's still the, uh, what's it called? The stone ninjas, Kurosuke and her team. Uh, Kuma ninjas. Um, what they call rain ninjas and other people. This is where Uncle was shocked to see this many people pass, but yeah. Of course, is where Naruto's still meditating, Shikamaru's still sleeping, but yeah. This is where Anko sees this and decides to throw four shurikens, well not shurikens, kunais at four people. One, it is a, well, what's it called? A guy that's right now eating, this is Choji. So yeah, Choji was eating and didn't pay attention that much. The bear was still eating, well, kind of sleeping right now next to Naruto. And this is where, well, the bear catches the kunai by his mouth, but of course turn his like teeth into metal and just crushes it and eats it. Mm. Yeah. This is where Uncle is just shocked to see the bear just eat her kunai. Then throws a well the other kunai goes next to Naruto, but instead of like reaching Naruto, it just gets cut into a million pieces and then starts burning up with golden flames. Naruto's win as she cuts it. But Naruto's win is different. Instead of being like, well, normal grayish wind, it's now a super type of color wind. Naruto's wind has actually increased it to the next level. Silver wind. This is where the silver wind was so much easier in cutting the kunai and then burning it with golden flames. This is where the other kunai was about to hit, well, Shikamaru, until a shadow, like a darkness, like tentacle kind of grabbed the kunai and then just Flicked it back at Anko with high speed and almost hit Anko. This is where Kurosuke notices and Kurosuke says, So, you were training more often. You fucking lazy bastard. This is where, well, a girl with blonde hair with three ponytails is right now looking at Shikamaru. She says, That guy is lazy. He's still strong. Hmm. This is where, uh, Gara was shaking up. He didn't even say anything, he didn't talk or anything. Uh, Chicago was right now silent because of the bloodlust from Naruto. Naruto's bloodlust can easily destroy an s rank ninja like, uh, what's called, or Kamara, the legendary Sonic. So, basically, 
is Chicago shutting up? He doesn't want to talk. He doesn't want to fight. He doesn't care that much. This is where it comes to L. No, so just like sleeping. He is. It's called. He's not sleeping. He's meditating still. But yeah, this is where. Well, Uncle just just stops trying to attack them mostly because they're not gonna be paying attention and they probably don't care. <laughs> No, I forgot to mention, Choji did kind of grab the kunai and just crushes it, just bends it with his metal hand, but yeah. That's where could have his teammate who is named, uh, what's it called? Her name is Kuzuki, and she sees, uh, Choji with that steel, and of course, she's amazed. She's happy for Choji to be able to use steel, even though she doesn't still like, uh, leaf ninjas, she doesn't mind Choji. Choji is someone that she does not really hate, or... Not really hate at all him. That's why she is saying, I hope I get to fight him. Hm. I wonder who's stronger in what's it called the metal uh, technique. You, Choji? Uh, Choji kun or me? <laughs> she is thinking in her mind. Is it worth? Well, Kurosiki wants to fight against Shikamaru, but yeah. Because, well, she's kind of pissed from the last time, but she isn't that pissed. Does it work? Well, Everyone starts, and of course they go into the tough wars. Naruto's team has a heaven scroll, and Naruto kind of just keeps throwing up and down, and just kind of not dozing up. He's right now just walking because he stopped meditating. Now, of course, he heard all those words. Choji was also paying attention to Shikamaru. It just looked like they weren't. Now, of course, this is where multiple ninjas think that it would be the easiest team to attack, but when they saw that destruction power, they're like, uh, nah. They don't even know why that even crossed their mind. This is where Naruto was sensing. Of course, he can sense so many teams. And he was telling his team, which team should we go after? This is where Shikamaru says, which one is the easiest and the weakest out of all of them? So we can just knock them out and take their goddamn scroll. Uh, the rain cloud, well, not the cloud, the rain village. Hmm, okay, let's go. That's where all of them disappeared. Appearing right next to a team that was right now trying to ambush, well, Team 7. Team 7 contains of Sasuke Uchiha, Sasuke Haruno, and Sai. This is where, well, they were about to like fall into an ambush from the Rain Ninjas until, well, they all smashed to the ground. This is where a bear was right now on top of one of the leaders. And this is where Shikamaru knocked the other two. Chochi did, well, not other two, just knocked one to just fall down from the tree. And then this is where Choji knocked his ass out with a armor fist. This is where Naruto already got the scroll of, well, Earth. This is where Sasuke gets ready because he knows that Naruto's strong. And he's just saying, so, have you guys come here to take our scroll? No, we're just here to take this scroll, but okay, fuck off. This is where Naruto and his team was about to leave until Sasuke comes out. No one tries to kick at him. Naruto blocks the kick with just one finger. And this is where Naruto, he goes up in the air. And just swipes the air. This is where Sasuke was confused until he gets a giant just gush. Well, not gush, a slash through his torso. Right now, falling backwards. Now, this is where uh, Sasuke says, Sasuke, good! Yeah, you know how Sasuke is because, yeah. Then she says, You bastard! You're not supposed to be hurting Shinobi, uh, what's it called? Leave Shinobis. Naruto kicks her away. And Sai, Sai just looks at him. Sees that this man is terrifying. Way too powerful. And there's no way in hell he'd be able to be en route, so he tries to assassinate Naruto. Shikamaru does do Shadow Paralysis Jutsu for Sai. And this is where Shikamaru walks up to Sai and just punches the shit of him, knocking his ass out. This is where, well, Naruto says, Aw, thanks, Shikamaru, for being my good friend. Shikamaru says, Shut up. <sighs> just, okay, you see here, I just want to get enough energy or practice when I have to fight against Kurosuke. Ugh. Also, why am I supposed to be married to her? Why not you? Aren't you stronger than her? Naruto says, because you're a Narwa. It's interesting to see a Narwa even do anything. She's probably interested to have a kid with you, since you two, well, most of you are extremely smart and extremely good in your techniques. This is where, well, Shikamaru says, I don't even want to have a kid. If my dad had a struggling time with my mother, I... Don't want to have a kid. This is where Naruto says, eh, too bad. 
That's your marriage. If you're probably your mom would try to force you into it anyway. Ah, uh, god damn it. Such a drag. This is where well, now it's a chuckles and everyone chuckles. But of course they get to the well tower in a matter of a couple seconds. Mostly Naruto, he just like summons out something because he remembers that he can summon out animals. But these animals are different from any normal animals. He summons out a lightning dragon. This lightning dragon looks at Naruto, sniffs uh, sniff Naruto, and can smell the dragon god power inside Naruto. Naruto says, hello there, uh, of the car, because he has met this lightning dragon. This is where the lightning dragon says, hello there, Naruto-sama. This is where Naruto says, hello there, uh, uh, Raiten. You know what I'm calling him, Raiten. This is where Raiten says, yes, do you need something? Naruto says, yes, I need to get to this tower in a matter of seconds because we're tired and we don't really want to do shit that much. Right and Naruto, this is where he kind of tells everyone to get on. And of course, they fly up and just zip straight towards the tower. This is where Gara and his team were actually getting to the tower. And they were about to be the first. Kurosuke's team was also behind them. But of course, Kurosuke and the Sand Village weren't really attacking each other because Kurosuke... Wasn't really about to start attacking them. Well, uh, how should you say? Gara's team? And Gara just didn't really care. He was too nervous from Naruto. When they were about to get there, also Akuma's uh, team was about to get there. They were about to get there, and whoever gets first would just be like, yeah, they can flex. They noticed that there was no Leaf Ninjas, but yeah. Now, this Kuma Ninja team is contains of Samui, uh, Karu, Kari? Karin, Karu, or whatever her name is, and uh, Omoe. This is where, well, uh, Kurosuke wanted to really be first so she can really uh, tell Shikamaru that she was faster until they see something just fly past them in blinding speed of lightning. <laughs> this is where uh, the Kuma team says, what the hell? This is where it lands into the tower. And of course, this is where Naruto and well, it lands on top of like the tower, kind of clutching uh, the tower a little bit. And of course, this is where well, the dragon says, "I am here now." Uh, Naruto says, "Thank you." This is where he then tells the dragon to uh, can go back, but instead of poofing away, it kind of just turns into a lightning ball, and lightning ball and disappears. This is where well, Naruto, Shikamaru, and Choji, and even the bear starts falling down the land. This is where, well, the team, the three teams that were trying to get there were shocked to see, well, the Leaf Ninja team, Dragon, a special team that contains, well, no Jonies, I think, but four people, mostly one is a bear. This is where, well, Kurosuke is angry. The fact that Shikamaru has a teammate that can help him and just go anywhere fast. But they were shocked to even see a dragon. This is where, well... Naruto says, okay, since we got the two scrolls, let me just open them. He opens them, and of course, is where, well, a person appears. This is Aruka. Aruka, since there's not really Joni sensei for them, they have to have Aruka. Aruka says, ah, hello, well, not Aruka. <laughs> it's not Aruka. Instead, it's someone named Horusen Saratobi. Horusen is actually the one to recommend them, so of course, he's the one to be summoned out. This is where uh, everyone is confused why the Hokage is here. This is where, when Kurosuke was about to rush into Shikamaru, to kind of ask him how the fuck, and why the fuck, is he here first, and her. This is where, well, they were confused why the Hokage was here. Horus and Saratoba says, Ah, hello, dragon team. It seems that you guys got here so early. Really early. I'm guessing that you found a team that you can just beat up easily just to grab the scroll. And now I have to say, I mean, we did also beat the shit out of Team 7, but okay. <sighs> I knew that shit was going to happen. Um, this is where uh, Horusen says, But it seems that you, uh, well, 4 has gotten here so early. So, you guys have some time to kill. And you have 4 days to kill. So, of course, you can go in and actually, well, whatever you need to do, practice, fight, train, or... Even goes to sleep. He looks at Shikamaru, Naru, eating. He looks at both the bear and Choji. And he just looks at Naruto because Naruto is the only one who's going to be training. And being faster and stronger. And trying to train faster and stronger. 
So yeah. Now of course Naruto's speed can easily he could have easily got to the uh what's it called tower in a matter of seconds, but he needed his team, so yeah. And of course is where well Haru doesn't say but you can go in now. This is where well he looks at the other teams and he just waves at them and he just disappears. This is where well uh Kurosuki's team was her own Joni Sensei. Uh, I don't even know if she had a Joni Sensei. I can't remember right now. Um this is where Gar's team it comes Baki. And this is where, well, uh the Kuma team was actually someone named Yu Yujito. So of course the two tails. This is where they all say that yeah, you can go blah 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 in and I. And of course they go towards well different rooms. This is where Shikamaru is going towards this room until Kurosuki appears and says, Hey, why you ignore me? Why didn't you talk to me? Hmm? This is where Shikamaru is saying, Come on, come on, get faster to the room. He's kind of speed walking now, a little bit faster. And this is where Kurosuki says, Shikamaru, don't ignore me. Shikamaru is right now walking. And of course, he's a little bit closer to the room. And this is where he starts blitz rust uh, running right now. He's running for his room. Kurosuki says, uh, Shikamaru, no! Get over here. This is where Shikamaru says, shit, 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 shit. Until before he can even get to his room. Uh, was a cop. Well, he wasn't really that close to his room because he was just walking. Because he picked the furthest one. But this is where, well, someone else picked, like, someone, uh, somewhere near further also. Just to kind of get away from her brothers, mostly. And this is where, when Shikamaru was right now running, he actually bumped into her. Right now falls, uh, well, onto the ground with her. This is where Kurosuki also kind of tripped and fell onto, well, Shikamaru and, well, this person. This person, Tamari. Tamari said, like, uh, get off of me. Watch where you're fucking going. And why the hell are you running? This is where Shikamaru said, uh, I'm running to get to my room just to go to sleep. <laughs> this is where Kurosuki says, no, you are running because of me. Shikamaru, I want to talk to you. This is where uh, Shikamaru says, um, can you talk to me, uh... Two days later, this is where Tamari goes, this guy is lazy. Kurosuke says, no, I know you're lazy. What I know where you're going to do, just sleep. Shikamaru? And Shikamaru says, <clears throat> well, I need to be going, if you don't mind, but yeah. This is where Kurosuke gets annoyed. She says, Shikamaru, if you dare even leave, I will punch the shit out of you. This is where Shikamaru is getting up. He kind of lends his hand to Tamari, and Tamari kind of grabs it. This is where, well, Kurosuke kind of gets kind of jealous when, uh, what's it called, Shikamaru did that. This is where Shikamaru says, okay, fine, we can talk. This is where he gra he also kind of lends his hand towards Kurosuke. And Kurosuke says, good. What I want to talk to you is about, well, you know, a little contract with our villages. This is where Shikamaru says, not this again. I knew that fucking blonde haired bastard was gonna drink something about this shit. This is where, well, Tamari was confused, but she was kind of close to her room. She could have went inside, but instead she wanted to kind of overhear a little bit. This is where our boat, Shikamaru, Kurosuke looks at Tamari, and Tamari says, well, I just wanted an explainment what the hell is happening. Kurosuke says, it's none of your business, uh, San Kunoichi. This is where, uh, Tamari says, huh? Well, are you gonna fight me because I, it's none of my business? Kurosuke says, maybe. Stupid bitch. This is where, well, they're about to start getting angry and physical. Until Shikamaru breaks it up and says, okay, both of you stop. Okay, uh, the reason why I'm trying to get away from Kurosuke is some problems with our villages. You know, since with the car... The leaf village doesn't like the sand village, or uh, not the sand village, the stone village too much. <laughs> he kind of gave off a excuse. He gave an excuse that actually makes sense. This is where Tamari says, I see. So what, did you piss her off or something? Uh, Shikamaru says, you can say something like that. Kurosuke says, ah, you bastard. This is where uh, Tamari says, oh, okay. Then if you don't too mind, I'm going into my room. Tamari said. This is where, well, uh, Shikamaru says, yeah, you can go in. This is where, well, Shikamaru kind of told Kurosuke to go to his room then. This is where, tomorrow when she gets inside, she's flustered. 
she is flustered because she thought that Shikamaru would kind of be like extremely nice or anything like that because well any guy has to be extremely careful with Tamaru because of her brother and her brother being kind of quiet she thought that her brother would be insane and crazy and having a bloodthirsty uh, grin for Naruto but instead of Naruto it's just too damn terrifying for even uh, Gara. so yeah of course, this where well, uh, Naruto, well, Naruto is trying somewhere else. Shikamaru was talking to Kurosuke about the marriage and all that, even though they don't, well, Kurosuke is fine with the marriage. Shikamaru doesn't actually understand any of his feelings, but yeah. This is where, well, Tamaru is just confused because, yeah. This is where Choji was just eating with the bear, or like eating the fucking fridge, but yeah. This is where tuning ninjas were right now kind of watching this. They're like, how they're not full? What the fuck is happening? The hell? We're gonna have to fucking make more food for them. Oh shit, spare. But yeah. This is where, well, I'm, well, not. This is where. Okay, so, um, the next couple of days has actually passed, and more uh, people start coming. People that either fell, they actually already left, or people that actually passed and are right now in the room and all that. Now, of course, this is where, well, the, uh, well, um, what's his name? Horus and Toby kind of said that he will kind of, what's it called, start the, well, kind of preliminary rounds, because, yeah. Because, well, it's not the final round because of how many people actually pass, but yeah. But that is where I'm going to leave it off for part 5 of What If Naruto Was a Dragon God. Part 5. Part 6 will be whenever, but yeah, other than that, bye-bye, potato, potato, and bye.